Well, you know, I have to confess, I didn't leave my house until early this morning. Uh, so I was really surprised to see all the debris on my way to work. But even more surprising was the number of fallen trees that affected every neighborhood in San Francisco. The saturated ground and the strong winds forced many trees to topple over in San Francisco. According to the Department of Public Works, more than 700 big branches and fallen trees were reported throughout the city. Yesterday morning, the owner of this Prius had a Monterey Cypress crash into the back of her car. DPW spokesperson Rachel Gordon told her she could file a claim with the city attorney's office. As long as the ground is saturated, it's likely that there's going to be some more trees failing in the next couple of days. So just keep an eye out for that. Let us know and our crews will get there. This was the tale of the city following the storm. Trees landing on homes and scaffolding collapsing onto the street. Today, the botanical garden inside Golden Gate Park was closed, deemed unsafe for the public. Over the weekend and this morning, city crews had cleaned out about 200 catch basins. The work to unplug a few remaining flooded storm drains continues. The San Francisco PUC actually has something called Adopt-A-Train program. We have something Adopt-A-Street. We will give you tools. We'll give you rakes and brooms and bags, anything that you might need to help take care of your neighborhood. We have hundreds of people doing that already. This is terrible. We found one of those good neighbors, Francis Lugo on Bush Street, clearing the sidewalk of all fallen leaves. And I'm doing one block at a time. And I have an orange trash bag that the city gives you. And it's something about the giants, clean and sweep up. And we'll give you that and we'll give you this if you take one block. Residents are encouraged to do the same and place the leaves in their green bins to keep them from getting into nearby catch basins. And by the way, I have to put in a plug for that uh, Adopt a Drain program. We did it a while back. It was really easy. We signed up online. And now, right before a storm, I make sure that the drain, actually I have two drains that I oversee, that those drains are clear of any debris or fallen leaves. And I tell you, it doesn't get any easier than that. I'm live in San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.